Police in White Settlement are investigating a shooting incident at the front gate to the Lockheed Martin plant on the west side of Fort Worth. They also found what they're calling a suspicious device in that suspect's vehicle. Fox 4's Hannah Bata live with the story. Hey, Tim and Lauren, and that white vehicle there on your screen is the vehicle in question. This is now an investigation involving several police departments and federal authorities who have since joined the investigation as a result of what police say is a suspicious device found in that white suspect vehicle. Now, police say by the time white settlement police arrived right around 530 this morning, they found a dead body in that car at the main security gate of Lockheed Martin during what was at the time a shift change, so a very busy time for this main gate to the company. Police responded to a man apparently trying to breach the gate. They say that man shot and killed himself after exchanging words with security. They say the nature of the conversation with security made them feel there was some remarks uh, related to federal agents. They felt warranted that backup in the investigation. Now, no shots were fired by security and no one else is in danger right now. What they're doing is checking that vehicle and a briefcase apparently found in the back seat. They say uh, appeared to be suspicious in nature, so they are sending in a robot to check that, determine whether it is safe or not, then proceed from there. Uh, again, the body of the man is still in the car. We don't know anything about this man, whether he's an employee or not. We do know that he is in his 60s. He is the only person to die in this this case security here at Lockheed Martin did not fire any shots according to police and for employees of the global aerospace and security company we do know spur 341 northbound is completely closed employees though can access Lockheed via gate 2 for the 18,000 employees who work here police say there is no further threat once they check this device. The next step will be to determine hopefully it is safe. Then they will send the medical examiner in to remove the body and clear this main gate so that employees can then later access it throughout the day. We'll, of course, give you the latest updates on our website, fox4news.com. For now, Tim and Lauren, back to you.